Hey guys, and welcome back to Metroid Fusion. Sorry for not uploading as many videos as I normally do, but that's because I'm in an exam period at uh, college now, so we have to, like, spend my entire day studying the law. Which, believe it or not, is boring as hell. Yeah. If you don't like to read, don't go to law school, really. Anyways, we're in the last part we prevented the boiler room in Area 3 from blowing up. So now we're going back to the computer and see what he has to say about it. And we got the wide beam, which is helpful as hell. Because now we like cover a much broader area with our laser shots, which is always nice. Anyways, you might be wondering, like, you know, if you have so little time to narrate, like, an LP video, then why do you do Metroid Fusion? Because everyone only watches Poke Park instead. That's mainly because I want to get Metroid Fusion done before Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 comes out in, like, three weeks or something. Because Metroid Fusion's pretty short. Anyway, the X mimic the crew member, it all makes sense now. The X can absorb the memories and knowledge of their prey. Oh, that's not good. HQ was very impressed. This could have destroyed the station with the X in it, not to mention the SAX. Unusual for a self-preserving species like the X, unless... Yes, Samus is such a big threat to the X that they want to blow up the station with them on it just to get rid of Samus. Because there's X elsewhere that'll survive then. There's biosigns on the habitation deck. Survivors, the infected crewmen you saw had survived until recently. Are there more people here? Okay, we're going... We're taking a break from all the different environmental sectors and we're going back to the main deck for once. We haven't been there for like... Seven parts or something. So it'll be good to go back there. Okay. No, we don't need to go to sector one. We need the main elevator. Going up. This game needs elevator music. The long elevator ride is long. Oh yeah, and if you go in here, the hole that the SAX blew in the wall... I uh, can't go in there yet because that's a speed booster thing, but there's this long corridor. So yay, missile tank acquired. And then we can move on. Get the door open. Run straight through the wall, because that's how we roll. And now we can, like, go back down here. Don't need to talk to the computer. Let's just keep moving to the habitation deck. Oh, we haven't been here before. That thing's indestructible for now, so... Yeah, this'll take us up to the habitation deck. To find survivors and get them the hell out of here. Anyways, save room first, because, yeah. I tend to save when I come across one. Because that's a major gripe I have with the Metroid games, that you can't save the game whenever you want to. It's like when I'm recording these in the middle of the night, and I feel tired and I want to go to bed, and it's like I can't because I can't find a freaking save, uh, save station. And I don't like wanna... It, it has to come at the right time too, like I have to find a save station just as I get around the 13 or 14 minute mark. Because, you know, if I get one at, like, two or three minutes, then that's just a waste of video. So, yeah. I often... When I recorded this LP and Metroid Other M, I often found myself staying up late because I couldn't find a freaking save station anywhere. Anyways, we have to use these worms again to climb up here because we can barely can jump far enough to get to the other side of the wall, or at least to the ladder. Ooh, that was close. 
Okay, survivors, come on out. Lock, disengage, gate opening. It's a green ostrich. Okay. Couple of blue monkeys. And a baby ostrich. Uh, where, are the, where are all the humans at? Did they eat the humans? This is weird. Where could they possibly be? Anyways, now you have to like leave this room, but if you do it from the bottom level, you'll come across a missile tank. Yay! Okay, let's get a move on. Report back to the computer. About this ostrich and the monkeys. And the apparent lack of human survivors, which is very bad. Edicoons and Dakaras. I've met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet again here. In the past, they've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. But where did they run to? I hope they're safe. Yeah, those creatures were also in Super Metroid. Where the monkeys like showed you how to wall jump and the ostrich taught you how to shine spark or something like that. Uh, the nearest nav room is down here. Okay, computer, what do you have? So the survivors were not human, most unfortunate, no really. We can now confirm the deaths of all crew members, that's bad. I imagined this was the case, but I hoped it wasn't so. I believe the X only infected the humans for knowledge, that form is too weak for battle. I'm sure the others were merely food for the X. That's gruesome. Some are now appearing that resist your current weapons. Oh, that's also bad. Oh yeah, power bomb data. We want power bomb data. Hardware team finished it. Yes. Download it immediately. Our choice of data rooms is limited to this one in sector 5. Uh, there was one up there as well. Like a little bit to the right on the main deck, there was another elevator. And there was a data room there as well. Why not send us there? I don't want to go back to area 5. Because it's cold in area 5. And there's annoying enemies there, like those ball shooting weird things and the flying flying shellfish that impale themselves in the walls. Anyway, going back down again. Yeah, this game the computer really has you running all over the place all the time. It's like go to area, go to sector one, sector two, sector four, sector six, sector three, sector five, no, back to the main deck, and then go back to five again, and you go to two next. Then you go back to the main deck, but the elevator jams, and you have to bomb your way out to area 6 or whatever. Yeah, it can get annoying sometimes. Anyways, back in sector 5. Okay, computer, what do we have to do here? You've been to this data room before, but I'll show you its position again. Oh yeah, over there. Okay, that's like the shortest briefing ever. But... I'm not one to complain, so let's get moving. A little recharging. There we go. Okay, it's those annoying enemies again. Uh, what's in here? Haven't checked this room out like... I wanted to, but then we got the emergency sirens and stuff that we had to get our ass to Sector 3. Because the SAX or that human guy was trying to bomb... Oh crap, it's that weird shadow thing again. I wonder what the hell that thing is and why is it flying around in there. That doesn't... It looks pretty ominous. Anyways, for some reason it can go in here, so that's good. Okay, in here. Shoot the switch. Data room. And... Download and we have power bombs now. And they're like super awesome. They're really helpful for like uncovering secrets. Even though you only have like a limited supply. Anyways, go down here. You know, the shaft where we needed the ice missiles. And if I recall correctly, there was some power bomb thing here maybe yeah see there's one so let's set it off epic nuke okay 
So what's this? Uh, footsteps. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no! It's the SAX. Ah oh, crap! It's a dead end. Fuck! Oh, run like hell! Ah, oh, he can shoot through the walls. That's unfair. Run! Jeez, I've lost five energy tanks already. Uh, where'd he go? Okay. Apparently, it refuses to follow me into this room. But anyway, a power bomb tank. That's a new kind of power up we'll find here. Okay, SEX busted that door. Go through the security room again. And I guess we'll just have to go back to the computer now. And I'm gonna set off a power bomb here. Because that'll uncover some stairs on the left side. Which really help traveling. Which make traveling this room a lot easier. And I wanna kill that thing because it fully. Damn it, Blue Hex, get out of the way. Kill that thing because it nets me lots of goodies. Full health and stuff. So let's save so we won't have to deal with the SAX again. Because that thing keeps scaring me every damn time it appears. Shoot the switch. Kill all those things. Okay. Okay, those big green blocking things die by power bombs. That's good to know. Because there's one up here as well. So, power nuke. Bam! Okay, let's see what's in this room. Oh yeah, I remember this room. This one had, like, one of the most annoying puzzles ever. Like, when I played this game a few years ago, I could not get the power tank at that end of the room. Because these tiles give away when you step on them, so you'll have to do some clever morph ball bouncing crap that wasn't supposed to happen. Froze it too early. Way to waste time. Come here. There we go. Okay, bounce like hell. Come on, don't fail me. Now, this is tricky, because if you jump, you'll hit the ceiling and you'll fall through, so... Bounce. Okay, that... Went better than expected, so we have a power bomb tank now. We can carry, like, 14 now. And, of course, I have to bomb these things again. So annoying. Don't want to waste a power bomb on it, though. Can't go right yet because that's a level 4 security door and that's kinda off limits. So back to the computer now. Wonder if I can get back there before the time limit. And I still wonder what the hell that shadowy thing in the background is. Because I don't like it. It's like the SAX, it scares me. Um, I think this room had some kind of power bomb puzzle, maybe. No, oh, no, that's a screw attack puzzle. There are screw attack blocks on the left. And we won't be getting the screw attack for a long, long time. And once you have it, you're not even forced to go back here anymore. Oh, that flying thing's new here. It wasn't there before. Anyways, recharge. We're good to go. And I'll just go into the next room and save. And because the time limit's coming up, we'll deal with the computer crap later on. So, see you in the next part of Metroid Fusion.